Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Nathan and today we're going to be ranking the top 10 best Montreal Canadiens prospects after the 2020 NHL entry draft. Now the Montreal Canadiens I still think have one of the best prospect pools in the NHL and especially in the top 10 there is a lot of talent to go around that will be solid contributors at the NHL level. But who do I see as the best Montreal Canadiens prospects as of right now and which prospects make my top 10? Watch till the end for all my rankings and all my picks, and of course, hit that big red subscribe button for more videos just like this one. Now, if you haven't noticed already, I'm uh, I'm not wearing a hat today. I'm just going with the hat with the hair. It's pretty fluffy, so I thought we might as well do something different. I'm pretty insecure about it, but I thought we might as well do something different, but we're going to get straight into the Montreal Canadiens prospect pool, which is pretty deep. There's a lot of guys that could be considered for the top 10 that I just barely left off, so I will get into honorable mentions before we get into the number one pick. And we're going to start out with the 10th overall player and the 10th best prospect in the 2020 Montreal Canadiens prospect pool, that being USA forward Sean Farrell. Now, I'm a pretty big fan of Sean Farrell, and I think this is one of the best picks for the Habs in this past draft, up there with Jan Mishak as one of the better steals of this draft. I think Sean Farrell is a guy that will provide a lot of value at the NHL level, playing the USHL this past season and was very efficient. I think he just gets the job done as a very reliable forward and has some pretty great skating skills to boot. I think that's a player that you could probably put on like a third line in the future and be pretty comfortable about it. Maybe has even more potential, but you're probably looking at a middle six winger there, which is not too bad, especially in number 10. Now going on to number nine, I have Jaden Struble, one of the better defensive prospects in the Habs pool. Now I've been a pretty bad, big fan of Struble ever since his draft year. I, I thought he had a lot of potential, even though he was very very raw, and when he was picked in the second round, I know there was a lot of Habs fans that were kind of skeptical about it. I liked that risk, and so far it's paying up pretty decently. He had a pretty great year in the NCAA, and I feel like that's a player that, yes, will be a pretty big long-term project, but I think definitely has the potential to be an NHL power play defenseman and be pretty great on the offensive side of things. Then going on to number eight, another D-man in Josh Brook. Now, he was an interesting one to put here and place in this list because Obviously, he's still progressing. Things have kind of stalled a little bit. And I'm not really sure where Josh Brook really fits on that Montreal Canadiens defense going forward. At this point, he probably might be at most a fourth guy for them, which is still pretty good, but maybe it was a little bit less than some Habs fans were expecting a couple of years back. I still, though, think that Josh will be a pretty reliable and efficient NHL defenseman, but it might take some more time than people expect. Then going on to number seven, another defenseman in the Habs first round pick, Caden Gooley. To me, Caden Gooley, yeah, was overrated, shouldn't have been picked 16th overall, but I still think can provide some value in an NHL lineup and be a very solid, reliable, sturdy, physical bottom pairing D-man in the future. It will obviously take some time, and I don't know if he's exactly NHL ready at this point, but he has the size, he has the physicality. I think defensively, if you can work on his turnovers, that's a player that you can rely on the defensive zone, which the Habs do need on that defense just in general, and especially on the bottom pair. I think Kanan Gooley is a guy that if you have him on the middle pair, it's probably too much, but as a solid, sizable bottom pair guy, it's not too bad. I think that he will fit into that slot in the future. Then going on to number six, honestly, in my opinion, one of the most underrated prospects in the Habs pool, and another defenseman, that being USA prospect Jordan Harris. To me, Jordan Harris has some pretty solid potential as a potential middle pairing guy. I could potentially see that. I get a lot of potential. I'm saying too much potential in this video, but uh, Jordan Harris, I do think, has that. To me, he has some solid puck skills, good skating, and just a, overall a good amount of tools in his toolbox. I think that's a player that, yeah, will take a little bit more time and should need some AHL seasoning, but I could see definitely as a bona fide NHL player and a pretty good offensive one at that. Then going on to our top five, and coming at number five, I my boy, Jan Mishak. Now, Mishak is a guy that in the second round is a pretty fantastic pick for Montreal. I see him as a first round talent, although it's not like in the top 10 or anything, I still see him being a pretty great value pick for where they got him at, and I think he does slot into that top five. Now, 
his potential is kind of interesting in Montreal because he is a left winger. He could potentially get to that second line. I think that might be stretching things a little bit, but he's a great power play option, a great smart talent in mind, and that's a guy that I see being at least a middle six, third line winger for Montreal and being a very good one at that. Then going inside the top four now, and... Caden Primu, our first goaltender and only goaltender in this top 10. Now, Primo is a guy that, honestly, I do like quite a bit. I'm not sure when he'll actually get the starter job in Montreal, which kind of makes me sad a little bit. Obviously, Carey Price is the starter and is going to be for a long time. But I think Primo has the potential to be a starter in the NHL. And although he might not be completely NHL ready yet, obviously, they ended up getting Jake Gallen, so that's why they're doing that. I think he's a guy that does have starter potential for Montreal and hopefully might get that job eventually. But I think that's a guy that's one of the best goaltending prospects right now in the NHL and is continuing to work on his craft and so far has looked very good in the AHL too. So it's just a matter of time before he steps in the NHL and feels right at home. Then going inside the top three, I have another defenseman in Matthias Norlander. Now Norlander it was another hard one to place because he had such a great SHL season and I think that's a guy that will be a top four D man in the NHL. And although I think some people might have maybe overreacting to that because he hasn't gotten as big of a start in the SHL this year, I think Norlander is a guy that is going to be a bona fide top four guy. I think the offense is what Montreal is going to use a little more. I think defensively he does still have a lot to work on, but his offensive game is proven, it's tried and true, and I think that's a guy that will be an NHL player and will be a great power play option for Montreal going forward. Then going on to number two, and honestly, between this guy and Norlander, it's, it's really no difference at all for me, that being Alexander Romanov. Now, Romanov is a guy that, I'm just going to say this right now, I think for some people kind of goes a little bit overrated. I do think that he's going to be a top four defenseman for Montreal, but I feel like some people out there are just hoping that he's going to be like a top four defenseman right out of the gate. And I have some news for you. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think Romanov will eventually go to a middle pairing good offensive player, but I'm not sure he's quite there yet. Personally, if I was Montreal, I'd probably play him in the AHL at this point, put him with as much minutes as humanly possible because I think he's most likely going to be on the bottom pairing to start out. I would rather have him in the AHL playing 20 minutes a night and really grinding and really getting his game going rather than going the NHL route if we see an AHL season, of course. But I think Romanov is still a guy that will be a top four defenseman. Once again, like Norlander, I think is more on the offensive side of things, but will provide some awesome value for Montreal in the coming years. Then going on to number one, that being USA Pride, Cole Caulfield. Cole Caulfield is the obvious pick here for number one, but the proven and worthy pick at number one on this list. Cole Caulfield is, in my opinion, goal scoring wise, maybe the best prospect in the NHL out there. And this is a guy that even if he's not ready in the NHL next season, after that next season, after that season, will will absolutely be an impact player. To me, Cole Caulfield is a first line player in the making and one of the best goal scorers in the NHL for the future. In Montreal, I think he also has a pretty great potential to be that. When you have the centers in guys like Suzuki and Kakanami, I mean, you could have Suzuki, Caulfield, and who cares? <laughs> who cares on the left side? It doesn't even matter. That pairing would be absolutely lethal. And I think Cole Caulfield fits amazingly into that Montreal system and will be the premier goal scorer in just a matter of a few short years. Holy crap, I, I realized I just did that whole top 10 in one take. My goodness, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Anyways, hopefully you did enjoy this top 10. Let me know down in the comments down below what do you agree and disagree with. Make sure you hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button for more prospect content just like this one. And hit that notification bell for all notifications and all the new videos. Make sure you share this video with your friends. Get it out there. Click this card for all my hockey prospect talk right in one playlist. My name is Nathan. I love you. <laughs> and I'll see and I'll see you guys next video or stream. Goodbye.